What is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another tropical forecast here on soon to be possibly Hurricane Gonzalo. And now confirmed tropicals from Hannah now aiming for the Texas coast to make landfall within the next 24 hours here. So, very, very interesting play out here. We now have two names storms in the Atlantic currently, and we also have that big wave, tropical wave off the coast of Africa that can possibly bring in a trop, uh, maybe a hurricane for the Caribbean. And that would be letter I, Isaiah. And the European model is showing that becoming a hurricane, so is the ICON. Those models have been very accurate this year. GFS and CMC don't show it, but they've been pretty bad this year, um, which is kind of why I'm still saying this could possibly happen. It's a huge tropical wave. I'll be talking about that most likely tomorrow if I can, because tomorrow I am having my birthday party. No, tomorrow's not my birthday, but the, my birthday is the 28th. But we're going to be looking at the timing, the cone for both Gonzalo and Hannah. We're going to be looking at the winds expected, the peak of this as well, the amount of rain. We're going to be seeing the potential weather. These can become hurricanes and all of that. Before we get into the video, please subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for all the support we have got in the past coming days. Really, I really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe. Uh, I already said that. Also, hit the like button. If you have not already done so as well, so I know you guys like videos like these. And also hit the post notification icon so you get notified as soon as I post a video. With that further ado, let's get into this tropical forecast. So here's a look at the National Hurricane Center. Here we have that new disturbance here from the trop for the incoming tropical wave. This is a system that I'm really uh, looking at looking at 30% chance for the next five days. And it's just got off the coast of Africa and it's expected to possibly go to the Caribbean. And maybe go like this. It's exactly what we're expecting. This could very well become a hurricane. It's something very interesting. The letter I before August, which is absolutely crazy. Never, I believe this has never been done before. A letter I before August, not even 2005. So this is something very interesting, but we're not going to be talking about it in today's video. But as you see, now we have confirmed letter H. Now we have Hannah right here heading towards the Texas coast just south of Corpus Christi. And here we got Gonzalo. The shocking thing is Hannah is almost stronger than Gonzalo. Hannah's at 1,000 millibar uh, central pressure and 45 miles an hour. And you look at Gonzalo, 1,002 millibar strength and also 50 miles an hour. So Hannah's really catching up. It did. It actually is more organized than Gonzalo, as you tell, minimal central pressure on Hannah. It's 1,000 millibars. And this thing's very close to maybe even getting an, a possibly IR or intensive or um, intense of a really just extreme... Uh, strength rise so it's gonna really rapidly intensify so our rapidly uh, rapid intensification that's what we are expecting like I say this thing could still possibly maybe maybe become a hurricane look how far off the coast it is still from Texas it still has quite a while it's over 30 degrees Celsius no wind shear whatsoever and a huge moisture bubble honestly like I said it may become a hurricane. I'm not saying it will, but you know, it's it's 2020 at this point. I think this could very well. Uh, I'm on the fence. It's a 50-50 possibility this becomes a hurricane. I would not let the possibility of it reaching just 75 miles an hour right before landfall there. So I think Hannah has a better probability really at this point. Gonzalo is really becoming a huge disappointment at this point. We we're expecting this to become a hurricane at, the, uh, at this moment. And look, it's going a lot more to the south now. Could possibly uh, po could possibly just go straight up into Cancun. And then GFS is still showing this going straight into Central America. So really, Gonzalo is becoming a little bit of a disappointment at this point. Really uh, a huge disappointment. Let's go now check out now satellite imagery. Look at this beautiful storm. This is actually tropical storm hand. It actually looks like a hurricane at this point. The convection is very strong here. You can see that that's where the strongest convection is right there. You can see that very dense cloud cover popping up. Very dense convec convection right there from the circulation over water, which is what convection is. It is caused by circulation of any liquid or gas. And that's exactly where we are seeing the convection right there. And look at, look at the circular rotation of this thing. This is absolutely mental. It's got perfect bands here. It's got ex actually extremely large for a tropical storm, actually. It's pretty big. Just look at this whole system and compare it to the size of Texas. Uh, this thing is actually a very large tropical storm. Honestly, I thought this would have been a tropical storm by um, by really last uh, evening, last or the evening of last night, but it did not. So, 
uh, really shocking how this was just a tropical depression yesterday. Just look how organized it was. Absolutely crazy, though. This is it's, this thing slowly heading towards southern Texas here. Slowly heading towards that southern Texas region. So this is exactly where we are monitoring that very closely. Therefore, the southern Texas area right there. Just south of the Corpus Christi. As you see, we have a lot of vorticity. We are seeing a potential for a eye wall developing here we'll check that on micro ir later in the video but you can kind of see very strong circular rotation low pressure right there maybe seeing on its, uh, a microwave ir a, a eye wall developing solid imagery right here for tropical storm gonzalo it, it doesn't even look like a tropical storm doesn't even look like a tropical depression let's look at invest i can't believe this is actually a tropical storm yes it's weakening it's now 50 miles an hour uh, so it has weakened uh, once again actually a lot it was just 65 yesterday i believe yeah it dropped 50 miles an hour just look at that that just compare that compare that how is this stronger than this explain explain that to me just how you know i honestly what i thought this thing would have been like this size at this point but the dryer got to it and this isn't going on a lot more to the south than expected. Just look at South America's right here. It's literally just off the coast and it just made skin Venezuela and Colombia. So really something really shocking at this point. But now it's gonna check out now the um tropical storm watches and the warnings here that we do have for the Texas coast. As you see, Port Mansfield, Corpus Christi, Port O'Connor. You guys are now under those tropical storm warnings. Houston, you guys are now out of tropical storm watches. So you are out of those tropical storm watches. Just south, of you guys do have travel from watches, but there's no, there's nothing, no really, this thing, and it's, this, there's no reason to have travel from watch around these areas. Really, we might or might not have travel from wind gust here, depending if it does become a hurricane. It's going to go right here to the south of Corpus Christi. Really, look at these twenty, uh, these uh, not twenty. Travel from warnings have gone all the way to the Mexico border, which I did expect as this system is continuing to move more to the south. Yesterday it was right here. Now it's possibly going to go right here. So it's going straight just south of the Corpus Christi. And that's going to go out into Mexico right here, really. So travel storm warnings for a lot of the counties, including uh, Interstate 37. You got your under a tropical storm warning for those areas. So if you're in Corpus Christi, Port O'Connor, Port Mansfield, any near, anywhere in Arata County, you are under a tropical storm warning. Here we're now checking now the, what the National Hurricane, Hurricane Center expects. They now extended to 65 miles an hour. Yesterday it was 60 miles an hour. And that's, look, that's not even close. That's not too close to landfall. Look how much still it has after that. So they can definitely become 75 before landfall. The National Record Center is definitely continuing to sleep on it, but they're kind of waking up, waking up because they're every single day they're extending the wind probability. Just look at the storm. There's no way this will not become a hurricane. It's got... A lot to go over. As you see, kind of this stall here a little bit. It kind of made a weird track, which is kind of why it's really strengthened this IR. Oh, sorry, RI, uh, rapidly, rapid intensification. That is likely. Look, this thing that sitting at 45 miles an hour, moving west from west at 90 miles an hour. This thing slows down anymore. This thing can very well become a hurricane. Listen, it has, it has a while. It has just over 24 hours until landfall, maybe 30 hours. It could definitely, uh, go through. It can definitely um, strengthen 30 miles an hour just like that. I mean, if it has an RI, if it is developing the eye wall like microwave IR is showing, then this thing can very well become something. National Hurricane Center has now extended to 65 miles an hour, and that's way, that's before landfall. Look how far it's 65 is compared to landfall. Here's the Texas coast. That is a good time. They can definitely strengthen the, the to a Category 1 right before landfall, like right there. It could become a hurricane. And bring it just borderline borderline hurricane force winds. I don't mean like 80 miles an hour. I don't mean 90 miles an hour. I mean like exactly 75, which is cat one force winds. I definitely expect that. Now for travels from Gonzalo, here it is. As you see, the confidence in this is kind of winding down here. 65 miles an hour as well. So this could very well also become a borderline hurricane. I just don't have as much confidence in this as drier. Just look at this, just look at how disturbed and how unorganized it looks it does have some nice convection to it right there but not impressive really as you can tell this thing's a very small storm um and it's expected to go now to the far uh, southern uh uh lesser antilles there 
in the Leeward Islands and then could very well get close to the Colombia border, uh, Colombia coast there. A lot more to the to the south than expected. It's going to go way south of Jamaica. Maybe become a maybe can can become something interesting in the Gulf. It does if it does successfully get there. But as of now, my confidence in Gonzalo is con continuing to wind down. Here's National Marine Center. As you do see here, we do they did actually just took away Tropical Storm watches up there near Houston. Didn't I just say a couple minutes ago they shouldn't have it? I I just said they shouldn't have Tropical Storm watches up there. Look at this. Look at this. They just took them off. Like. Wow, that's that's a great prediction by me. That that was a, that was pretty good. And as you see, still has plenty of time. 7 a.m. Saturday, it's right here, and the, that's 7 p.m. Saturday, 7 p.m. It's just getting it's just getting inland. Look how much this thing has delayed landfall wise. It's delayed 12 hours in a matter of an update or an advisory. So this thing has over 36 hours to become a hurricane. This is not a hard task. It is not a hard task to update this like this, really. This thing has 30 miles an hour er, yesterday, then went to 35. Now look at it, it's at 45. That's a 15 mile an hour increase just in one day. If we do that every single day for the next two days or for the next 36 hours, that will just reach 75 miles an hour, just like that. So like I said, the confidence in this becoming a hurricane is extending. It may sound, seem crazy, but this could be the first hurricane. Honestly, Gonzalo, it still has a chance. National Hurricane Center still shows it. I can tell. Actually, nope. National Hurricane Center just updated right now. Nope. No hurricane for Gonzalo. No hurricane. That's absolutely crazy. Yet, we still have hurricane watches here, which is actually impressive still. But, no hurricane now. Nope. Not at all. Only travels from watches and travels from warnings. This is absolutely just a huge bus it's in incredible so let's take a look at the entity guidance now for hannah as you said i've been saying this could very well become a cat one borderline and look models are slowly increasing the peak which i am telling you guys this could become a hurricane look now models are showing this possibly at a peak of maybe 55 knots which is around 65 miles an hour which is what the national Hurricane center is showing but it really i see it by by the end by the end of today we're going to the next ad update right here, the peak, right there, over 55 knots. So they're slowly increasing. Now I'm telling you guys, this could, there's a big possibility this could very well become a borderline hurricane, which I mean by that is 75 miles an hour exactly. Look at this. Look at Gonzalo now. What a disappointment. What, look at this. Not even going to, not even going to barely strengthen at all. Just what a disappointment. This is just doing a Christina. This is honestly, I don't even want to look at this anymore. Really, this is just a absolute disappointment. Now let's go check another the Tropical Storm Gonzalo um, mall tracks. As you see at this point, really, it's still a very widespread area of uncertainty. We have a huge cone. Look, look at these malls. As here, some of them are showing literally going right here into Central America, and then some going all the way up into Cuba and north of cuba this is just a huge uncertainty like this cannot be this uncertain at this point really i still think this will be the cone most likely like this um that seems to be the most likely at this point uh but just super unorganized with the gonzalo it's just been unorganized at the start another mall mo track guidance again this is the main cone right here it goes right to the south of jamaica that's the main area but a couple miles still showed actually going north of cuba and then into the eastern gulf that seems a little bit less likely also now it's td uh, sorry travel storm um for uh, travel storm hannah here is the uh cone this is a definitely a lot more certain as you tell this is the cone here that's actually a very good cone so here it is going to make landfall just at the corpus christi uh actually some also going to right over corpus christi but really in the reality it's going to go right here uh just at the corpus christi a nice landfall let's go and check it a look at the models here so here is a look at the HWRF, and as you can tell, the HWRF is actually showing this possibly becoming a hurricane. HWRF, yes, yeah, literally it was really overhyping this storm, but really in reality, it's looking very likely. GFS, I don't even want to look at it anymore. GFS is just extremely bad with this right now. CMC as well. So we have to go into smaller but very detailed models here. The next 21 hours, this could very well be at possibly a uh, 
at a strength of 987 millibars. That is, that is a RI rapid intensification. That is very likely and that makes landfall at 977 millibars, bringing flooding rain for Corpus Christi um, areas all over the South Asian coast for Texas, and then bring a ton of rain for Mexico. That honestly seems likely at this point. It's going to take 10 degree winds. It is going to be showing possibly within the next coming hours 51 knots which is around 60 miles an hour within the next 21 hours and then it strengthens right before landfall at 71 knots which is 81 miles an hour right before landfall like i said it's going to strengthen maybe to a hurricane borderline hurricane right before a landfall and then it weakens and then it goes up to 64 knots which is around a really right at 40 uh, 74 miles an hour and then it weakens at that point but that is just a ton a just a, a ton of moisture. Let's go and check out now what HWRF has now for Gonzalo. Really, it is going to be swinging kind of getting to the uh, lesser until the islands there uh, very soon. There, as you can tell, the next 45 hours, July 26, and then at that point, it kind of just falls apart, which is very uh, just a very boring track and very just a big disappointment. So this will wrap up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this great video. Hope you guys did learn a lot and also got a lot of details on these storms. Hopefully I can have a later video out this evening. Bye-bye, guys.